and then all of a sudden it crashes it crashes and you're like oh shit i just lost everything well no you didn't Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the GoPro Studio software crashing. So if you've clicked on this video, chances are that this has crashed on you and you're wondering what the hell is going on and you want to fix it. So I'm just going to start off by saying that this has happened to me many, many times. And in particular, I was editing some GoPro footage where I was snuba diving in Hawaii. So not scuba diving, snuba diving in Hawaii. And I was getting some epic footage and I had already spent between five to eight hours on this edit. And I was getting really excited because I wanted to release it on our YouTube channel. And then when I was about 80% done, it just crashed. It just totally crashed. I couldn't open it anymore. Some Something was corrupt and just, I lost everything. And I was so mad to say the least and I was wondering why the hell is this happening and I did some research and I found out why. So here's why the software is crashing. Here's a couple of reasons why. One is that the GoPro Studio software is not meant to do long, intricate, crazy videos. Now I'm wanting to do those long, crazy, intricate videos because that's just what I'm into and I just wanted to make, make a more dynamic video than just a typical, you know, one frame, one clip with, you know, one 30 second song or whatever. I've been making three to six minute videos where the cuts are really fast and it just looks really cool. So. The longer your video becomes and the more you add to it, the less the software can handle it. So I noticed right away when I have, I have like 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 clips going on at once in my GoPro Studio software. So I, when I notice when I have a lot of clips, when I add music, I'm adding text, I'm adding some different color and I'm slowing and doing slow motion, fast motion. It just gets so heavy for the software that it just like explodes, implodes on itself and then crashes. So that's one of the main reasons why your software is crashing is because it's not meant to do such intricate videos. So I'm going to share with you guys three fixes that I was able to do so that I could get through and finish editing my snuba diving video. I'm going to have the video pop up here while I'm talking so that you can see what I'm talking about. The the video clips, I had to get so many of them and I had I was adding a lot of different slow motion and just a lot of effects that the software really couldn't handle. I would do one thing and then all of a sudden like the, the frozen thing would come up and then it would just pff, ex exit out of it and then you're just like shocked because you've been working on this for five to eight hours and your work is just gone. I was furious. So here's the first thing that you want to do if this type of thing is happening to you. The first thing is you want to make sure that you have the latest GoPro Studio software update. So head over to GoPro.com and make sure that you download the latest one, uninstall the old one and reinstall the new one. I found that when I did that, when I had an older version that it did fix it a little bit, it made it go a little bit faster and it was crashing a lot less. Two is you want to make sure that when you are editing that you close out of a lot of stuff. So if you have tabs going on, if you have a YouTube video playing on in the background, if you have some sort of media player playing at the same time as the GoPro editing software, it's not going to work out very well. You have to close out of everything. So when I'm editing my GoPro videos and I'm doing those long videos, I turn off the internet, I uh, close every single tab and the only thing that's open is my GoPro Studio software. And the third method I'm gonna teach you is a very unorthodox method, but it was able to get me through editing my snuba diving video. So I'm gonna share it with you guys right now. This is not a long-term fix. This is not something that you want to be doing over and over again. This is something, it's more of a short-term fix if you're in a bind right now and it keeps crashing. So this is a short-term thing. You definitely don't want to be doing this all the time because it can get really annoying. But it got me through a certain video 
that I spent over eight hours and I was just grateful to even just get it rendered and finalized and uploaded onto YouTube. So I'm gonna share with you the tip right now. Now you're gonna be like, what the hell? But it worked for me. So let's say this is my video. This is me pouring a cup of tea and then the, the lens gets all foggy. I just thought it was a cool effect and a short clip. So let's pretend that I've been editing and it starts to crash. First thing is when when you're a reopening the GoPro file, it's asking you, do you want to reopen the auto saved file? Say no, don't open the auto saved one because that's probably the corrupted one. I thought, you know, when I was when it first crashed on me, I thought by opening the auto save that, you know, that was the safe way that 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 the auto save was the good method, right? Turns out that it froze, a lot of the time it freezes and it crashes during the autosave. So if your program, if your GoPro Studio just crashed, do not say yes to opening the autosave. Open it from your last save. Another thing is when you're editing and you have something really important and it's, it's getting to be a large production here, you want to be clicking save as much as possible. So if you make a change, if you add a new clip, you want to go control S, control S, control S. Make sure you get that habit ingrained in your head because that's going to save you. So let's pretend that this is an intricate production here. My editing, I've got like 40 clips. I've got music, text. I've changed the color tones. I've got fade in, fade out. I've um, slow motion, fast motion. I've got the works and it just crashed, right? So before you even give it a chance to crash, you want to prepare. So what I'm going to show you is the method that I'm talking about. So like I just said, you want to really get used to doing control S, saving as much as possible whenever you make a change. Like I've ingrained it in me that when I make a change, I'm just going to click save right away. So let's say I'm here at this point and I click save, right? So I'm going to just say this on the desktop so you guys can see test one. So I'm going to click save, right? Okay. So on the desktop, we've got auto save and then test one. Auto save, I don't want to go into anymore because I don't trust that anymore because of what ha happened to me previously. I'm going to trust this one. So I'm going to go back into it. I've now saved it. Let's say I want to do some more edits. So I'm just going to just play around here and pretend like I let's let's uh, cut this in half. Let's speed this one up by a bunch. Let's slow this one down right this is just a test this isn't real editing okay so that's when we were at a tea house all right so let's say i did a bunch more changes right right now i want to click save right i want to click save because i clipped it in half i did some fast motion slow motion and i want to save that next you want to go over to where the original file was saved. So test one and you want to click copy and then you want to go paste. Okay, so you've got test one copy and then test one. Now I'm going to explain the reasoning and you might be kind of confused right now, but here's why. So let's say I'm working on this and I do some more edits. So let's say I do some more edits, right? I clip that in half and I'm adding more and then all of a sudden it crashes. It crashes and you're like, oh shit, I just lost everything. Well, no, you didn't. Because you made this copy, right? This test one might not be working. This autosave is definitely not going to be working. But this test copy, the one that you just did that you're not in right now, <laughs> this may sound confusing. So right now I'm in test one, right? Now, when it crashes, you want to head over to test one copy and you'll pick up from your last saved portion of wherever you were in your video. Okay, now the key is to duplicate this until you can complete your video. 
It's a safeguard and it's a plan B. So this is plan B here right now. This was plan A just erupted and crashed. So now I'm going to go to plan B. So let's say right now it just crashed. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be opening test one copy and now I'm back in. Now, whatever changes that you did just before it crashing, you probably lost, but it, you won't have lost everything you'll have lost up until the last time you saved, right? So let's say it crashed. I now open test one copy. I'm in here. Okay, so I'm making some changes. Let's pretend like I'm making more changes, right? We've got more clips. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it made even more. Okay, so now I'm going to click save, right? Because I'm in I'm in test one copy, right? Let's just pretend I'm in test one copy. Then you go copy, then you go paste, okay? So now you've duplicated that change, okay? And you keep doing that until you finish your video. Now I hope this is making sense for you guys, but this literally saved my video, my snuba diving video. I worked so hard on it, spend over eight hours and it crashed twice. So on the third time, I was not, I was determined to not lose this video. So by doing this method, I was able to complete the, the snuba diving video. So that is the method, guys. You basically are creating a plan B file so that when the first one goes down, you can go back to your previous last one and carry on from there until you can complete the video. Again, I hope this makes sense for you guys. If it doesn't, please let me know by leaving a question in the dis in the comments below and I will try and help you guys out. All right, guys, well, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. If it has, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.